this is Morrison's and this has been going on for years. If you look down you can see plastic, plastic. Everywhere you go there's plastic. As they come along, put these new posters up, cut the plastic and throw it on the floor. It's obviously not good for the planet, it's not good for wildlife. We reported it to the manager director, we reported it to the manager, and still they do it. And I have told them at least tie it on with string because at least that's biodegradable. And to just cut it and just throw it was disgusting. Well, Goddard Street, they've started on these new builds here. Some at the back, if we can see, they've actually got roofs on at the back. fairly slow progress but there's plenty of people working because unlike the sort of bus station it's brick by brick not Lego builds so. we've still got a, a problem where the uh, with the cobbles it's now sunk again well Flag Lane and the new bit of road now seems to be finished because all the grids have disappeared and nice new shiny road, nice little uh, island there. So that's done including the new bit of road to there as well. Well the whole scheme does seem to be finished because there's new road all the way up to Flag Lane there, the new road we just looked at, that bit on the corner has been done and all the way to there has been done if I can get to it. So what else we've got to do because we've got another five weeks, it was once supposed to be till September was it so we've got another five weeks yeah. Uh, they're just going to play cards for five weeks or what? Now West Street, we reported months and months ago all this uh, flooding. And not just me, lots of other people we reported it. It goes all the way along. If you happen to be a pedestrian, you get soaked. It's highly dangerous because anybody with a bit dodgy tyres and to aquaplane, don't they? And that's it. And after months, the council have done absolutely nothing. On the corners, it's very bad. Street down by the traffic lights, the uh, puddle is absolutely horrendous. You can go boating on this. And it's all been reported to Cheshire East months ago, and they're doing absolutely bloody nothing about it. The car comes past, and you're a pedestrian, an old lady, or got a young baby, and you've got absolutely no chance. I'm getting fed up with mentioning this, but it's now five weeks, and all these barriers down West Street. Somebody has stuck them all back against the bloody uh, side. I'm still all the way along, five weeks, no sign of any road work. Not been removed. Who the hell's responsible for this? Even got a, si a sign which is a no sign. Well, this is something totally different. I've worked for Google Maps and we've been taking photos of graves for the last 18 months and Google are going to take a photo of every single grave in the country and it'll go up on Google Graves but we've got this one in the Crew Cemetery a total mystery and I wonder if anybody knows anything about it now most graves obviously have like this one it's a war grave, who it is, when they died, and some memorial. But this one has got nothing. 
and normally on the back of the grave there's a maker or, or a number like that again there's nothing and it's a total mystery there is this jewellery box and we're wondering if it's a Pandora's box and she's Pandora but it's a very uh, risque gravestone and lots of people want to <laughs> know what it's about to not have any date of birth when they died who it is what it is is, is a total mystery so if anybody knows anything let, let us uh, No, because it's just absolutely nothing. No words, no number, no nothing. Well, the uh, <coughs> laundrette that opened recently, they've now got the proper signs on, because before it was a bit difficult to perhaps find it. But they've now got big signs and a big uh, fluorescent sign. It is open 365 days a year. You can get down the street and get your washing done. Well, this new bit <coughs> going up fairly quick. So it comes in really great big sheets of concrete. It doesn't take much to whack it up, does it? Well, both cranes are idle. Well, we've got a new game, Spot the Worker. So if you come around town, try and spot a worker. I know it's different to sort of uh, Goddard Street where there's lots of brick is and what have you, but you'd expect to see, you know, some signs of life and the whole site just seems dead. So if you're uptown, spot the worker. I'm just in the main town and we've got cards on this corner, a clothes shop, Timpsons, a property shop closed, beauty shop closed, JD closed, Friends Direct closed, and of course Marks and Sparks closed. And how sad this is because not so long ago this place was full of shops and now it's just yeah. Well, I won. I spotted a worker. I don't know if it's the worker or actually a lorry driver that's delivering a load of uh, more concrete. Do I get a prize for spotting a worker? There's a couple of them here putting signs up. Just to find them something to do. <clears throat> and there must be two workers somewhere because the crane's connected up. Well, all of a sudden a few workers have appeared. There's one there, two, there's probably at least three workers. I'm trying to get this really great big piece of concrete to where it's supposed to go. Really is Lego though, isn't it? You know, it just comes in parts and you stick them all together and the job's done. I mentioned you know it is total chaos. It's all totally closed off, no access even to bikes. Lots of busy people doing busy things and stripped all the road back all the way up the, the hill 
So they're totally resurfacing the old uh, road by the looks of it. Now we've hit six weeks, we've got a port with this. Well, Bentley, now we've got two cranes, a big uppy downy crane and a big longy longy crane. <laughs> Well, they seem to have all the windows and everything on the uh, the building. Well, the council have announced uh, that now various play areas like this one on Derby Docks, uh, McLaren Street, one or two others are going to get the upgrade anytime soon been on the cars for quite a while but uh, it should be happening pretty soon. Now we are on the Derby docks and there's a problem. Last Tuesday as I walked down with the dock three lads about 15, 16 on push bikes said they were going to kill me. Not very nice but when the dog had to go they ran off. On Friday, there was a lad with a mo motorbike running all over the docks. Young lad. Obviously not taxed MOTs or anything else. And they sort of spoke to him and he came and, can I describe it as attempted to murder me because he just came at me at 40 mile an hour uh, with the intention of hitting me and he did actually hit me. The police are obviously investigating. I don't know whether we can see all these tracks all over the docks. So he's chasing round Derby docks, he's chasing Derby Street, Underwood Lane, Oxford Street, all round at high speed on an old dirt bike with a very big back tyre. Now somebody must know who he is and we, we've got to stop this guy because obviously there's a play area and the main path mothers and babies walk down sooner or later he's going to very seriously hurt somebody and if you're prepared to sort of for no reason whatsoever run a 75 year old man and try to run him over um, we need to know who he is and who these three lads are before somebody really gets hurt. I can see how the uh, end bit's coming on now. It must be not far off finished. Possibly another layer. And I can only see one crane, so where the other one's having a rest. I'll have a look in a minute. But, uh, with the new game, Spot the Worker. Uh, I'm not doing very well because I can't spot one at the moment. So this other bit, they can't do anything until they got rid of all this bloody rubbish here. Around the other side there's no sign of this new crane, so whether that was... It's just come for its holidays. It's not been here very long. So we're back to the, to the big old crane. There's more stuff coming. And we have sort of spotted an odd worker or whether it's the lorry driver. Oh no, no, we've got a couple of workers. What's interesting, the gate men don't wear hats. Now in most building sites, as soon as you step on, you've got to wear a hard hat, but they appear not to. The old grain cranes uh, spurring into action. Be it slowly. Again, we can see all these bits where the next bit goes on with all these bolts. Unless they're supersonic special boats, they do tend to rust and quite well it's a good idea to have all these bolts. They soon soon rust, won't they? 
Black <coughs> new tour, but must be virtually done now. Judge it against the other one. It's about the same height, just needs its hat on. But again, we're in this position where you know we can't find a worker. I mean, it seems totally unbelievable that a project this size and you can't find a bloody worker. Whether this is down to Cheshire East, because they said before that <coughs> they released the money bit by bit, so they released the money for this bit, but they wouldn't release the money for the rest of it until sort of next month. So whether it's Cheshire East or the workers, but I expect them to be well doing that, to be clearing this, getting it ready and doing something a bit productive, wouldn't you? I'm not being able to find anybody working, or if there is a couple, <coughs> it's just unbelievable. It's a soaking wet day, but uh, there's more lorries arriving. See on the. Uh, I can move along a bit. more or less finished apart from there's probably two side panels to go on there in them everything else is done well again the yard's empty nobody about <coughs> get my teeth in the market hall we've got an exhibition about the factory girl one of the suffragettes I a lot to see. It's interesting that the, uh, the suffragettes, the Pankhurst family, are all buried in Wimbury, not Emily Pankhurst herself, but all the rest of the family are buried in Wimbury. So it does tell the tale of uh, what went on. Seems a little bit stupid, but they've got a sign here that you can't go past these seats, so that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Because you can't see any of that there. So that seems... A bit silly, but uh, nevertheless. <coughs> I took all these flowers up and I was expecting them to put something in, like the summer, but uh, spring bedding. Uh, <coughs> our friend here giving us a tune. Raining, so he's hiding. <laughs> And we did say last week about the state of where the wheel is. And somebody's come along and cleaned all the weeds. And not cleaned the rubbish. So there's a slight improvement. There's an interesting thing going on from there, if I can spot it. And the gutters are blocked. And water's pouring off them, so if you're walking underneath, you get a right shower. And certainly they haven't done the... It still looks a bloody mess. I thought that they got the rubbish up and what have you at the same time, wouldn't you? So it's still a tip. <laughs> 